What's good, everybody? Happy Monday. Happy Monday. Come on in, hit the like button, hit the share button, hit the subscribe button. As we get ready to kick this show off, we appreciate all the supporters. Welcome back to another live stream by yours truly, KC1400 Media. And um, I'm sure Zoe and TD will be on here in just a little bit. Uh, it's been a good weekend. Um, got an action packed show. Uh, got a lot to we do want to discuss tonight typical monday got to get it kicked off man it's uh it's jsu sports chat live with with the crew and there he is man t dizzle then pulled up on us for sure bro for shizzle <laughs> <laughs> how you doing man man i'm blessed man you know preparing for some bad weather here Ooh, yeah you know man that weather love coming into jackson man Man, especially, especially around March, man. I don't go sit. I don't go sit ourselves clear, man, until we get through March. You know. Yeah. Man, we still have to get snow in March. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, it's not too bad, man. Hopefully, it's not too bad. You know how it be. Man. It's supposed to be from from nine in the morning. I mean, from nine tonight to seven in the morning, man. So hopefully, you know, you know, the alert's going off now. Oh man. Well, man, listen, storming uh, Bolton, Mississippi. Oh, man, y'all y'all take cover. Be safe out there. Oh, man, and, and bad weather, man. I, I totally understand it. Hopefully, everybody, hopefully it's not too bad. Hopefully it don't stay too long. Hopefully it's not too much damage. Hopefully everybody's safe, man. So, um, and hopefully your lights don't go out, man. So, you you know, <laughs> lights go out, you ain't going to be able to just got a tornado on it. Oh, man, take cover. Definitely got to take cover, man. Um, hopefully we can keep you entertained though, as long as you got some electricity. If you right. didn't go out, you know what I'm saying? Uh tornado one and just went out. Yeah, they y'all over there, right where it's at. Yeah, yeah. man. Man, y'all make sure y'all stay safe, man. Uh go get in the tub if you have to, in the basement or whatever. Always too loud. <laughs> yep, headed downstairs to take cover. Oh my goodness. Wow. It's like that right now. Yeah, man, it was it was it was gloomy and cloudy all day. <clears throat> man, well, I say this, man. Hey, Nicola, how you doing? How you doing? Strong wind gusts here in Columbia. Yeah, man, y'all make sure y'all stay safe out there, man. So we'll keep it rolling. I appreciate y'all for tuning in, man. Hey, man, y'all loyal, y'all y'all some loyal supporters, man. Y'all y'all they got the potential of of of, of some bad weather, and y'all sitting here. Tuned in, man, and we we appreciate the support. Um, and uh, 
we're going to try to keep it as entertaining as we can. We ain't going to be on all night tonight, but we definitely going to definitely going to entertain you guys, man. How was your weekend, bro? I know we did a, I did a, a, a post-game reaction. Definitely got to get your on that. I saw it. I saw it. Man, I'm going to tell you something. For real, though. <laughs> Mika said she tuned in from the closet. Damn. <laughs> Stay safe over there, sis. Stay safe. Oh, my That's God. Stay safe, man. Go ahead. What you say, brother? Yeah, I just got to keep it real with you, man. Uh, Good work. Good work, man. I, I tell you something, boy. You're a brave soul, man. You don't mind getting all entangled with the ralphs and everything, boy. You be out there with that camera, I'm like, hey, man, I'm getting, I'm getting, them, I'm getting these buckets. Yeah, you be, you be getting it in, man. So I want to come commend you <laughs> on, on the work that you put in, man. The effort, you know, your love and your passion for the school, your desire, man. I mean, it was a uh, good work, man. You you took everyone on the inside of the journey who couldn't be there. Uh, especially yeah. with being so long. And that's what we do here at KC 1400 Media. You know what I'm saying? We take people, we bring you in-house when you're not there. And yep. so when we not being there, it was a chance for me to look on the inside to see what it was that we do. And you do your thing. So just shout yeah. out to that, man. We appreciate that. Hey, man, I appreciate this, you know, the shout out, man. I, You know what I do, TD? I always, and you do it too, I always try to just say, if I wasn't here, what would I really want to see? What would I want to see? Right. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like that's that's really my mindset. You know, I'm always <laughs> listen. <laughs> hey, we may not. I, I I ain't I ain't the best editor. I ain't got all the nice shiny videos and all the little good, the good bells and whistles that some may have, which is great. Um, but I gotta be honest with y'all, man. Td, that was a journey, bro. I, I saw. That was a journey, man, and I I left for. Uh, Listen, man. <laughs> hey, bro, I left. Man, listen. Wow. Just thinking about it now is pretty crazy. You know, when you talk about, you know, leaving Cali, you get you get to you get to Texas and and then you, you know, I, I gotta I gotta get over here to from one airport to the other airport and then get to the other city in Texas, then over to Tampa, then over to Hartford, right? Man, when the game was over, oh, do you know it rained literally the entire day that Saturday, bro? Mm -hmm. I'm talking about the time you wake up, all the way to the time that the 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 plane was up in the air, bro. Um, yeah, man. So where did you find maybe to some clear I skies? Because I was with you, <laughs> man. Huh? Where did you find me to some clear weather, some good weather? Uh. Charlotte, North Carolina, brother. Whoa. So on the way back, you know. <laughs> hey, man, look, I got the heck out of that joker, man. Soon as it was over, I was like, you know, I went to the press conference and saw, you know, uh, Coach Gino. You know, everybody saw the press conference. And then Coach Tamika Reed and Tylen Bowler and, uh, and and Angel Jackson. I, and then after that, man, I just I said my goodbyes to my brother, A.J., and the fam, and uh, I got a chance to meet Tyler's bowler, mom and dad. Uh, saw my girl KJ out there. I said my goodbyes, man. I went up there to the media room where they had the food at TD. Say so they took care of us, man. I wish you had been there, dog. Second floor, bro. They had a whole little room just for the media for. We had good old chicken, boneless chicken tenders. With, well, you know, we had chicken tenders, different flavors, salad, little some cookies, and all that good old stuff. They <laughs> said different. Food. He said different flavors. Different flavors, man. They look a little, little, little spicy, a little barbecue. You know what I'm saying? They, hey, they took that. Hey, man, I was good and full down there. You know, you go down there to the – and it was a nice – it was a great experience, bro. And um, I got to say, man, uh, afterwards, I went back up through there. I went I went literally I, – I, that, that was the door I exited out of, and they literally put me right back to the garage, man. And that's when I got to the car, did the reaction. And dude, y'all got y'all got y'all got to feel me on this, man, bro. Do you know my behind Google um, Hartford? I I put it in the GPS. I, I say I put Hartford Airport. Man, do you know that the GPS picked up Hartford Brainerd Airport? And dog, I'm just a driving. It's pouring down rain, bro. <laughs> I leave at seven thirty. 
TD, I got the heart for Brandon. It wasn't a damn airport, man. I said, what the hell? I sound like Famous Amos and, and DJ iPod. Man, what the hell? Then you finally get your GPS and realize you're in the wrong spot. Like, dude, it's 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 six. Dog, it's like it's like right at six or six fifteen now, bro. I'm like, oh shugger it! I gotta get the Bradley internet, man. I don't, I don't. So I, I I do it with my cell phone, dog. I'm 21 minutes away. I said, man, where the hell am I? I'm over here at a private airport. Man, I was gunning. I'm flying, bro, in the little Malibu, bro. I was pouring down rain. I said, bro, I'm not finna get stuck in no damn Hartford, dog. You already got it. You already got fans. I got all the fans. I'm, I'm, I'm pushing it, man. Now I'm starting to remember everything. I'm like, oh, okay, they go downtown. They go. I'm rolling, dog. I got to drop the rental off. <laughs> then I got to get through the airport. And then, you know, the, air, the, the rental car spot, you got to, when you drop the car, T, you got to walk all the way. But luckily... Uh, Harford's not a big airport. They don't even have terminals. They got one terminal, 30 gates. You got to mm. gate one through 30. That's all you get. Bigger than Jackson, obviously. But, man, I went through the pre-check line, dog. I was the only one going through that bad, baby. I'm through there like that. Next thing you know, shoot, man, I'm over there at the uh, – I'm at the gate, man. And I had plenty of time. Hell, as soon as I got to the gate, the plane that – it was delayed, bro. Hey, hey, man! When you were talking about driving through the weather, what up, Zoe? I thought hey, about man. uh, I thought about uh, um, decor receipt. We was heading to that football game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you was always in the front. I was in the back with in the car with Corey. With Corey, Corey said, "Man, he ain't drive like he in LA." <laughs> hey, man! Listen, Zoe, tell you. Hey, bro, when you get used to driving around these big cities, man, you just take it wherever you go, man. You got to get to where you got to get to, man. So, man, and, and, and what's up, bro? I'm going to let you let you rock it just a second, man. So, look, I got to the gate. All the all the planes were delayed, bro. Every last one of them because it's pouring down raining. And, uh, man, so this is – I'm going to just I'm, – I'm, I'm, I'm telling the story this way because y'all got to understand. I didn't get home to Sunday to yesterday morning, bro. Cause I stayed the night in Dallas. I just went. I wound up going on to Dallas and and just. Bro, I didn't get to Dallas two thirty in the morning, bro. And I was I was out the next morning at eight thirty. So you know what I'm saying. So here's the thing. But this is how I got to Dallas, TD. Y'all do know that for those that don't know, American Airlines has a few hubs. One of the main hubs is DFW. The other main hub is Charlotte, North Carolina. Bro, every flight in Charlotte was delayed, bro. And I'm talking about as soon as I get off the plane, TD, and so, bro, it's lines long as, as, as the food stamp line, bro. People at customer service trying to rebook their flight because they about to be. So luckily for me, man, you know, I fly, you know how I fly, man. I fly standby. I bought that second flight to get to Dallas because if I wouldn't, I would have been stuck. On, on, I would have been stuck just like everybody else. I wasn't going to make that one. So my point is, I, I went through a lot, man, just to get the hell home after already going through a lot to get to that game. Do I regret it? Heck no. It was no. a great experience, man. I got a chance to see it for my own with my own two eyes. I was talking to Zoe on the phone at one point. Um, I told him to see it. UConn looked like – I mean, UConn is the city of stores, bro. And I'm just telling you right now, bro, outside of that, man, it looked like a little house on the prairie around the uh <laughs> it was raining though. <laughs> but it, it ain't nothing, that, it ain't all that attractive, bro. You know, I mean it ain't bad, but it's like it, yeah, all right. It looked like like you went to uh Gatlinburg or something without the cabins or something. You know what I mean? If I, that's about the best way I can explain it. Anyway, what up, bro? I think that's what I said. <laughs> that's what you said. What's up, man? What's up, TD? What's up, V? I love family. What up, Zona? We ain't picked up around here, man. So if I just happen, hey man, look, you hey safety first, bro. I know I'm good, man. You, if you had to go get in that tub, man, check. Hey man, first of all, bro, turn your TV on, dog, and check the weather, local weather. Hey, go, I go got ahead. it on. Oh, you got it? On? Okay, okay. They got some bad weather over there. What's up, bro? Go ahead. Not much, man. I tell you what, man. Today was a very eventful day, to say the least, and. Uh, a lot to get into, man. You know, um, not sure where all you started at, but you know, I was just telling my little my journey to get from to get to over to stores from Cali and back to Cali. That's all. That's it. 
and just uh, yeah. Yeah, it's been a very eventful day, you know, from, you know, it's having pro day to, um, you know, everything else is going on in the world. It's been a very, very eventful Monday. Hey man, hey, uh, as long as you if, if you if you ain't dealing with everybody got problems now. Everybody, you know how folks say life is life. And I went to go looking look at some tires today for my for my vehicle, right? Mm -hmm. And I saw the uh, TV was on, bro. Mm -hmm. and, uh, it looked like old Diddy about to have himself some problems. Do you hear me? No, he's not about to have some problems. <laughs> He got some boy. Diddy got some. It was I, when, when Diddy was saying, "Take that, take that, take." Yeah, he, it seemed like he yeah, he was in a whole lot more than just than just singing. My goodness, they about to, they shaking him down right now. Madison headed our way in seven minutes. Oh my goodness, it's headed to Mobile around five. Y'all be safe and Jack. Alarms going off. Hey man, y'all say y'all be safe, man. We gonna try to keep you entertained. Whoa, 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 whoa. you gonna say something headed toward Madison? Madison headed our way and said, yep, 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 yep. Yeah, well, Mika is right there. Uh, uh, she says she's watching the show from the closet. Well, you know, I didn't I even see that. Oh, man. Hold on. I got to. Uh... Yeah. Check on the fam. Hold on one second. Yeah, man. Everybody. Hey, look, I'm going to just keep y'all entertained, man. I'm, I'm, hey, look, the weather good over here, but y'all be safe out there, man. We're going to try to keep you as entertained as we can. All those college times. For real, man, University of Nebraska, I can only imagine, uh, bro, uh, that Nebraska, Iowa, Washington State, Gonzaga. Oh, man. It makes sense, though. They said, did it pull in the OJ? <laughs> Bad boy problems. Oh, Fred said tornado. Hey, man, Fred, be safe, man. Storming like hell here around these parts. Oh, man. Yeah, it's, a, it's, it, it's that time, man. I don't – yeah, I, I know how Jackson – the Jackson, Mississippi area could be around this time, man. A lot of bad weather all the time, you know. Um, man, but y'all be safe, man. And now, like I said, we'll try to keep you guys as entertained as we can. Uh, a lot that we do want to talk about, man. I, I'm, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get into anything to everybody come back up on the screen, but um, it was a journey, man. Uh, I I just start with a little bit of the recap again. Uh, I want to send uh, uh you know just a huge congratulations to our women's basketball team for just being having a just an absolute stellar season um said did it running like far as gum oh he didn't he don't he don't he don't he don't haul tail uh bro that storm passed through vicksburg already take share of jackson and metro area wow okay charge your phones up if you in yeah. the south yep Oh wow, they don't track they don't they don't track Diddy uh yeah. we got one installment. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. Hey, hey, Diddy. hey man, I'm telling you something. Diddy, oh man, I gotta get caught up, bro. All I saw was the was the watchman car. So Diddy done ran for real. Oh, he well, you know, yeah, man. they invaded. Okay, they invaded his homes for uh, trafficking, man. I saw it, and I did see that part. That's that's something, bro. <laughs> hey, man, they, they crazy. So EA said, "Uh, hey, kid, if anybody asks, I was on the road with you. Sign so Diddy. <laughs> hey, man, you on your own, player. Everybody seemed to be good, man. Y'all take cover, man. Uh, wow." That's crazy, bro. Yeah, it makes you wonder, though. You know, we live in a world, man, that's – it's a corrupt world, man, we live in, man. A lot of corruption that go on, man. And then, two, it makes you wonder, you know, because everybody that – like, you, there's a lot of people that has – name has been – has come up in, in this – in that type of uh, um, situation, the trafficking type situation. You think of the Epstein, that type stuff. And then you never really see – I think he got arrested, but then he wound up dying in jail. I'm not getting into all of that, but this is crazy, man. I think it's way deeper than what we see. Um, that I think the world is proverbially what we say. What we say, uh, believe ha half of what you see and none of what you hear. None of what you hear and half of what you see. That man said, "Keefy D singing." Man, that's crazy. All right, let's get into some. Let's get back over to the JSU side. I can't. I can't deal with that celebrity gossip stuff, man, and all that old craziness in the world, man. What's what's good, Coach? 
What's going on? Wow. But anywho, uh, while you guys are here, man, as you come in, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the share button, hit the subscribe button. Join the channel. If you're not a channel member, go ahead and hit that join button. Uh, we appreciate you guys. Hey, listen, I got to say this right here, man. Shout out to everyone. Um, three minutes from, man. Uh, shout out to everyone who has been tuned in to us from YouTube. Uh, definitely going to try to start getting that uh, Patreon and rocking and rolling. Oh, wow. Definitely. Y'all take cover over Madison and Madison Gluffs that area, man. If you tune in from from us, from this area, y'all be sure to just take cover. Be inside. Go ahead, bro. Those family, of course, family is, is in Madison, so he definitely going to be calling a check on them. Um, TD, you look like y'all good over there for a little minute, huh? Just passed by Clinton. We all clear now. Yeah, that see, boy, by that, that's a that list of names ain't going to, and they, they kind of it seems very selective, I, I would say. But anywho, see, let's 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 let's, let's I'll, I'll let you start, man. We we didn't, I didn't have you on, uh, none of you guys are on the reaction. Um, I will just start there women's basketball, um, Jack State versus UConn. Um, we lost by what 21, 22 points. I don't have a score in front of me, I don't really even care to pull it up, but you saw the game, I was at the game. Let's just start there, and then we'll get to the preliminary. They good. They up and alert. Yeah. Yeah, you got an echo, bro. Me? I think test, test, test. Yeah, I hear a little slight echo. When I, well, I think it's okay. TD, you, you, you good? Okay, so we'll start with you then, bro. Let's talk about the uh, women's basketball in uh, versus UConn thoughts. I, I I did my reaction. Everybody kind of heard it on the channel. Let's start there. Well, before I even get into the actual reaction of the game, let me <clears throat> first and foremost congratulate Coach Reed and the women's team on the successful season that they had. Uh, we are bona fide dynasty. You're talking about what was that now? Five conference regular season championships and three uh, conference. Uh, tournament championships out of four seasons um and you know just came up short man to a better team a well man team um and like i said we knew it was going to be a dog fight <clears throat> excuse me we knew it was going to be a dog fight you know what i'm saying going up there but they showed uh they showed grit they showed fight man we just what i took from that was that we actually saw kind of like the lsu game and what I mean by that is, you know, we saw from the LSU game when uh, Amisha went out with foul trouble that we need to get height and we need to get bigger. And, you know, we recruited to that to try to compete with the uh, with the LSUs, you know, in, in that regard. And I think we took something from this game as well, man. Mm -hmm. uh, and like I told people, you know, we mentioned it earlier in the week how we talked about their numbers or lack thereof in comparison to us. And I'm like, man, look, it's not about their numbers. It's the talent they have. And they got superior talent. And it showed. But again, we fought, man. We uh, we coast, uh, we and we fought. We battled, and we just see what we need to get a few more pieces and uh, get a little bit better. But I love Coach Reed's response uh, after the fact, and she even stated that you know I'm not even competing for the swag, not and that's not to put down the coverage that we're in, but it's just that our goals are for what we want to do to transcend this program, change this program from what you see it to becoming a a legit me major power is I'm playing for March. I'm playing for these non-conference victories against power five conferences. And she asked, why not Jackson state? We can do this here. We're a D one program. Right. And so, um, and we have some power five victories under her belt, but now getting to the game, like I said, we battled hard, man. We, we rebounded. Well, we actually defended. Okay, man. We just, that first quarter was, was, was a domino effect on us. And I think, yeah. The girls came out of state. They said they got, you know, say a little bright eye to it. But once they kind of settled down, you know, they, they just played when looking at the score. We actually look, we we actually never looked like we didn't belong in the court with them. And I have to give us kudos for that too. And that's a major sign because anytime you're talking about a 13, 14, 15, 16 seed, you kind of see a mismatch. You know, you look like they don't belong or they're being outclassed. And we wasn't, we weren't. We saw the mistakes that we made. We just lost to a better team. That's all that it was. So we just got to go back to the drawing board, get a few more pieces here and there, definitely get some shooters um, there. And, and again, we saw Coach Reed's tweet like, hey, come where the ring resides, you know, looking for transfers and getting that portal to come on to JSU. 
And, you know, we got a Maya Crump through a transfer portal. You know, you got Angel Jack through the portal. You got uh, Daphne uh, through the uh, through the portal. And so we need to get some more of those. But we need to get some shooters. We get some knockdown shooters, man, and actually add some more height. Uh, we're going to be deadly. Um, but I'm looking forward to next season. We lose quite a bit. Not a whole lot, but we lose some very significant pieces, i.e. Angel Jackson and uh, Maya Crump as well. And so we need to uh, replace those. Like I said, get some scoring, and we'll be look right back in the thick of things. I also I want to commend Gino Ariema, man, for his comments on Coach Reed. I mean, water's wet. He saw the obvious. That's how I pretty much look at her and her coaching. He saw the obvious. And, um, you know, we hope to have her here. And I love her response in the, in the press conference. And I was in it with this guy. I won't be too long. I will let TD get in here. But, uh, again, kudos to them on an awesome, amazing season. Oh, no, man, you was you, you was on good. I was enjoying listening. Um, I will start out by saying just as well, um, mad props, congratulations, much respect to Coach uh, Tamika Reed, her staff, um, along well with the trainers and assistants, um, and the players. Mm -hmm. Much, you know. On last week when we was talking about this game, I had some questions. And one of the questions I had was, I knew we had a good team. My question is, would the lights get too bright for them? And I don't think it did. I think we lost the game in the first quarter with the shots and so that was the shot selection. Now, I mind you, the shots that they was taking was open shots. Yeah, they were. It was open shot, so they weren't terrible shots. They just wouldn't fall in they they aim wasn't a yet on point. I, I agree with that. And that that, that was the difference in the game because if you look at the stats for the rest of the uh other uh, other quarters, you know, it was you know, give or take a few points. So again, man, those ladies had a terrific season. I'm proud of them. They have no no reason to be ashamed. They represent <clears throat> the school, the state, and the city well. They had class, uh, they controlled their temple, you know, they controlled their attitudes. Um, it was a very nice show. They look good, they look really they look good in those red uh uh uniforms. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it, it was a great showing. The 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 worst part of it was the you know at the scoreboard, and then we all knew that the chances, you know, was you know, it was kind of slim, but man, those girls fought. I mean, I mean, they fought, and I like I said, if the old ball was falling in the first quarter, we're looking at a different game, totally different game. And so uh, I'm looking forward to seeing, you know, what the program is going to do going forward. Uh, like Joe said, man, we get, we get a couple more shooters, you know, just pure shooters on the team, you know, um, get a good – Get, get someone who could penetrate and break down the defense. And one thing, I, one another thing, Ken, and I said on the show, I said, look, man, I said, if we penetrate the middle and, you know, uh, attack the basket to try to get it was in foul trouble, then that would be a good, you know, that would be a good strategy. And every time they attack, man, we got, we got some type of foul or, you know what I'm saying, or, 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 or had them, you know, kind of. Should have been more fouls, but. It yeah. should it should have been yeah and and we should have uh, attacked the basket a little more too but nevertheless man outstanding season outstanding career uh coach Reed said I think last year that she wanted to knock down walls you know kick over barriers and break down you know all the naysayers and all the uh, uh, things that HBCUs not supposed to be able to do on the basketball court. And I tell you, I tell you what, Ken, each year she's making steady progress. Her leg is getting stronger and kicking in that door. You know what I'm saying? So now um going forward, man, let's see. I'm, I'm looking forward to see what you know what the future holds, man. So again, shout out to the ladies tigers, shout out to the players that you know, transferred in the ones that seniors that probably no longer be with the team. Um, Kashana, uh, Maya, Angel, or uh, Tila. Tila got uh, another year left. She got another year. Oh, she's gonna come back. Okay, okay. Well, I, I, well, I mean, that's you know, from all the expectations, yeah. is I talked to her mom. 
great to meet the uh, Bowler, uh, go, Bowler family. Uh, got a chance to meet the mom and the dad, but I, I was I was I was ecstatic, bro, to hear that she got another year. Um, All right, okay. Well, I met a mom, man. She uh she never sit down at the games. Yeah, she's cheering all the time. She's cheering all the time. But a great showing, man. I was proud. I was proud. I was proud. Really to your good. point, you said something. Um, the shots not falling in the first half. Coach Reed made a great point about the advancement of women's basketball in college level and getting it to neutral sites. You go into a gym like that, you know, you don't really have a rhythm. You can try to warm up. You get you get there a day before. You go try to find a groove. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. Um, the referees were terrible, by the way. I just want to make sure I mention that again. But they were strategically terrible. Uh, it wasn't obvious. It was obvious the stuff that was going on. But I'm not going to, you know, they just won a game against Syracuse by eight, you know. Page Beckers had 32. But I sat there and watched the game, you know, obviously like everybody else did from start to finish. And I watched the way they called the game. It was extremely they, – they were very skilled at what they did and how they called it. They wasn't going to allow us to um, <clears throat> apply too much pressure to them uh, the way that we did. Uh, actually, Aaliyah Edwards should have fouled us. She could have fouled us. She could have been foul trouble majorly in the first half. But again, you know, the, even the elbow, the elbow could have been a flagrant two ejection because it had a little, little, little some some behind that. Uh, a lot of some some behind it. I, that was one of them. That was one of them plays where, when I, if I was playing, I was gonna bust a nose on purpose, but I was gonna make it look like an accident if I was on that team. Not saying that the coaches is not gonna tell their player to do that. I'm just saying that's how we used to be. You go ahead and hurt one of my players, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get you back. That's kind of how we were, you know, but the day is, I guess, is, is different. But she had some, she had some, she had some smoke behind that elbow, man. And that's why she got the flagrant two call, but it wasn't with it, it wasn't with an ejection, though. Well, it, it was the it was the extent of the arm that got me. Well, you know? it was because of TD, it, it was building up. She was getting frustrated. The whole game, she was getting frustrated. So when she when she finally made a move that one that you know I'm not saying she's a bad bad it's, it's all a part of competition you get frustrated you know what I'm saying um but it had some smoke behind it and and I'm like man you know she caught Layla Walker smack dab in the middle of the nose man in the face you hey, know and but go ahead hey now what, 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 what you saying about neutral site you saying something about dating oh, oh, neutral sites it minimizes you you going against a UConn, bro. They, I mean, they playing at home. They used mm -hmm. to that vibe. They used to that. That's women's basketball. Period. The number one, the top teams are usually host. Um, they host the tournament, and I understand that. You know. Um, and then, man, and, and those crowds. I, I, they was cur you can hear the cursing on the television. Yeah, and I and I and I I, I get that coach. I, I mean, I said coach sound like Rob J now. I I, I get that C Lee. I, I do. I totally get it. I'm just saying, like, it's not – so we're always going to be on the road at one of their – at their homes. So that's kind of a disadvantage that you find yourself in. Um, but I got to challenge you on this one, though, OG. I'm going to tell you why. I mean, let me add to this point, too, because I want to say this. I get that, but they really can't even use that. You want to know why? It's a first-round game. And no, even on the men's side, go look at the games last night on Saturday and Sunday. First, the first two rounds aren't attended well at all. Conference championships or the NCAA tournament. That game was attended well. That game was better attended than the day's here's, game. Here, but here's the thing. You're going to have – this outliers, right? So it's six, yep. so it's 32 games. Out of 32 games, is it possible for you to have four or five of them attended well? But, but most of them aren't. Here's what I was going to say, though, about that. I saw something today, OG, that said – Man, do you know that the women's college basketball is actually is is starting to rival the popularity of men's college basketball? Yes, sir. The amount of star power that's in college basketball right now is pretty darn high. And uh, I was watching Kevin Garnett talk to Paul Pierce. He said, "Hell, name five basketball players in college basketball right now, men." And he had a hard time. He said, "Hell, when you say the women." I can name them now. I got no man. I I love Fuma Wiley from for South Carolina. Pow Pow Cardoza. You got Caitlin Clark with Iowa. You got Angel Reese. You got uh Flo J. John. You know what I'm saying? You got a whole slew of them. 
that you just know of because the game is is just getting that much better. Not to mention, I and I and I and listen. This is no knock to to us. I enjoyed, man. I enjoyed the women's basketball games at Jack State more than I enjoyed the men. Stone me if you want to, but we gotta play better on the men's side. And I, I'm not saying we didn't have good games, but the women's games were just more. You know, I, I guess it, 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 I enjoyed it more. Maybe because we win it. Still, it seemed like they had more to play for, more to lose. I guess being with the uh, being undefeated, you know, in that that's case, true. Was, that's true. Like, that's true. And then too, in the men, on the men's side, we had a lot of injuries too, though. You know, but I'm I'm not saying that is 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 man. I'm not fixing that. Nah. I'm, I, I stand on that. It is what it is. Okay. I, I mean, <laughs> just I'm not I'm not I'm not fixing that. You you do with that what you want to do with it. But I really enjoyed. Our women, obviously, hell, if I went through what I went through to get to UConn to watch our women play, come on, TD, when did we, when we do it, when are you going all the way to the Hartford, Connecticut, to Stores, Connecticut, bro, to watch? Come on, dog. Our women play basketball? You're damn right I'm going. It may not mean nothing to nobody else, but that's just where I found the most joy. joy. The, the women, that game, that atmosphere, it reinvigorated my love for basketball, bro. But but you know what, King? I'm gonna tell you. I'm you know, uh, man, I was watching that West Virginia uh, versus Iowa game. Hell, I thought I was gonna lose that. But go ahead, bro. Oh, I, I was listening to that win. <laughs> you look like King with that damn earthquake. <laughs> Did he say? Yeah. Hey, <laughs> right. oh, this rain. Take your time. I, but, but, but what I was about to say, though, Ken, you know, the fact that you did that, man, those girls saw a familiar face. Well, we have to understand in sport, man, starting at Little League. One of the reasons I follow a lot of sports today, Ken, especially the young kids that I I, I, uh, I, I encounter, and they, they tell me they're playing a certain sport. I say, okay, well, tell your parents, give me a schedule, and I'll come. Man, that made a difference for me. I mean, yeah. because sometimes that be the only face that you know. And those girls seeing your face, a familiar face, they're with them, supporting them. They knew they had at least one strong fan in the building. Myself, you know Mona, I had some, had the, we had a, we had a squad no. in there, man. Right, right. No, I'm, I'm just yeah. giving an example of, of going. So with oh, that yeah, being yeah. said, man, that's why we have to support, you know what I'm saying, all our sports, man, if we can. You know, if you go to a soccer game, go to one. You go to a bowling game, go to one. Just say, you know. Hello, man. That you know, and that's that. That's another thing to separate us as fans. That coach uh, O was talking about too, man. Yeah. You know, I mean, even even that time when we sent the uh, the basketball team to the the, the theme park in California, yep. that's like, man, we ain't no Jack State, you know, alumni is get down like that. Hey, you know, man. so how do you think the members team. and supporters of this channel, man, for that? For blessing the women's uh, basketball team with that while they was at uh, playing against UCLA, that was outstanding. By the way, Galen, what's welcome? Uh, welcome to the channel, man. Appreciate the channel membership. Any other members? Any other people watching? Click that link to join the channel. We can definitely appreciate the membership and uh, looking to continue to grow this channel, take it to the next level. Uh, we got some some amazing uh, exclusive content coming. Hey, I gotta just mention why are we talking about it. I just so y'all might know. I don't know if y'all knew this or not, but we we got the goat pulling up on us on Wednesday. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, you know what, man? Oh yeah. Let's go, baby. Let's not, go. not only not only her record, her <laughs> coaching's you know her, her coaching you know saying for what she have has done on the court, man. But even her interviews, man, are very intellectual. She speaks very oh, yeah. well. Yes, you sir. know, uh, and very impressive. So she represent. I mean, even the way she dressed, it's classy. So everything about it, man. I mean, I like. You know, of course, we always have room for improvements on something. But for what I see from Coach Reed, man, and can you know, I tell her like it is, man. She represent class, man. So I'm so hey, proud yeah. to have her as a coach, man, and represent the way that she does. Hey man, you saw you saw on the video, right? You saw when she walked out the state out, out the locker room. You saw you just it was just the aura, you know what I'm saying? It was it was the it was it was the level of respect from even the Yukon uh fans, man. You know what I'm saying? And uh and, and and that's 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 who she is, man. She's a she's a winner, man. She's a champion. I call her the GOAT. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But listen, hey, reached out, Coach Reed uh, uh gracefully accepted. 
the invite to uh join us on Wednesday. Uh man, you guys uh make sure y'all pull up on Wednesday. I ain't gotta tell them to pull up on Wednesday, GD. They're gonna pull up. We're gonna get everybody to pull up. Cause I got a lot that I got to say about her. I'm gonna go on and say what I got to say tonight. And then we'll have her on. And then uh we'll talk, you know, we'll be ready. Y'all know TD gonna have them questions ready. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna be ready to talk, man. So y'all make sure y'all pull up and uh have you have some questions in the chat. We'll try to That's do our true. best. So you're right, TD. I remember going to some junior high games before I started coaching. All the students really appreciate it. There you go. That's right, coach. Absolutely right, man. So yeah, this Wednesday, special guest Wednesday coming back. We paused on it last week, you know, to, 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 to take care of some travels. We, you know, we didn't we didn't even have a show on Wednesday, but nevertheless, uh, we're back with it. We're back with a banger, man. And um it, it looking extremely um just just looking forward to sitting down with coach reed man and just talking about just the season from her perspective the program from her perspective um what's next you know what i mean how do you take the success and continue to build on the success you see what i'm saying how do you keep that fire burning that's hunger you get what i'm saying when you feel like you've accomplished and she said it in a press conference TV, you mentioned it she stated listen i'm not coaching to win the swag She's proven that she can do that repeatedly. You know what I mean? With five regular season and three three tournament championships. Uh, you know, um, at this point, we're looking to take that next step, you know, to that next level, you know, and really get help get her over the top, man. And uh, the reality of the matter is, I, I'll say this. I'll say this. I'll I tell you one thing, and I, I want to make sure I'm careful when I do say this because, you know, um, we've been saying what Gino said for quite some time. It was good that she got a you know recognition from somebody like that with a stature like that, but um that 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 solidified what they felt about her in the eyesight of a lot of people when he said it, right? I, I'm pretty sure they uh, they, yeah. felt, they felt better when he when he verbalized it. And I'm not, you know, I'm I'm all for that. Uh I I do want to say this though. The chatter that you hear around Coach Tamika Reed um, is 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 uh she she deserves everything that she get she got coming to her, you know what I'm saying? She's earned that. Uh, but make no mistake about it, I'm J, you know I'm JSU through and through. I hope we can keep Coach Tamika Reed as long as we possibly can, you know. And uh and and she's earned the right to do whatever it is she want to do. And I hope that I hope the desire is to stay. And I hope that we're we go big, you know what I'm saying? But the chatter around mm -hmm. her is, 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 a, is an interesting thing because it's kind of a catch 22, you know, we do love Costa Miguel. We do want her to stay. Uh, but it's almost like what Rochelle says all the time, TD, we don't feel like we deserve good things. It's like a lot of us say this, we, we just, just, you know, we, 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 we go HBCU, HBCU and, you know, <clears throat> rah, rah, rah. And then, Many of us feel like elevation is going to the schools that <laughs> you know. You know what, Ken? I, I can't say that anymore, and and I must admit, oh, I'm not finna okay. making my point. Okay, go ahead. Now, what I ain't finna say is is this: I'm not saying that you know going to a Power Five isn't an elevated opportunity because you go into a higher level, and there is a potential to get paid on a higher level. Um, my mindset is simply um, giving it the best you can to try to retain, the, you know, the coach that you can and really trying to elevate your profile within that space and having an opportunity to do that as opposed to just bowing out and just saying we can't. You know what I mean? I was looking at it from more of a um, because I'm not going to I'm not going to make that point because that that would be actually false. It is false to sit up here and act like getting a job at a you know a power five division one program to make a million dollars a year ain't a hell of an opportunity you got you follow what i'm saying because i that that's a phenomenal opportunity and we just may not be able to pay that amount but here's what i will say um i just would like to see us give it the best shot we got and try to do what we can to keep it if we fall short we will we go down swinging 
Um, and that that's my whole perspective of that. But I, I was like, I just kind of chuckled at the swag because, of course, the swag want to go on because you've been whooping their butts for the last few years. You know, so as soon as they can get up out of here, they, they feel like they got a chance to win again, you know. But uh, my mentality for her is simple. You know, I want her to have whatever she she has. The, she has earned the right to choose whatever she wants, whatever route she want to take. And it comes down to a couple of things uh for me and i say this i'm done at a higher level you know what i mean go to a, a, a power five level or, or and 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 take over a program and and get to that national championship if that's if that's what she want uh great or do she want to continue to stay at, at the hbcu level and continue to fight and knock down those walls uh elevate the profile and elevate the salary pool you know make more money on this level and become a HBCU goddess, basically. It comes down to what she wants. And she right. has earned the right to decide what it is that she wants. And, and and at this point, I think my position is like this right here. I hope we can keep it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's all. I ain't, I'm not I'm not going in nobody's neck with about nothing. I just feel like, man. I really, really hope you know we can because she's done a phenomenal job. And man, I ain't, ready, I ain't ready for this to end. Go ahead, TD, and then I let you go, Zoe. And then, I mean, a, <clears throat> hey, hey, go ahead, bro. Yeah. Uh, first of all, man, shout out to Coach Walker for tuning in, man. We ten toes down, baby. We let you know how it's going down. I was just about to say, about to let it know how it all goes down. About to let it know how it all goes down. Uh, <clears throat> but no, Ken, I don't think I was going to add to your point. At one point in the time, I've, you know, I, I'm, I admit that I may have had that feeling like, okay, well, we're only going to plateau so far. But I'm, I must admit, uh, Coach Prime helped change that mindset for me. And it's now, okay. now it's there. Now I feel like we should be able to elevate in every sport, and I feel like we can elevate in every sport. Yeah. So we are deserving of what goes on, and we can be the one. Jackson State can be the one to help change the landscape and the mind frame of HBCUs or SWAC schools and elevate. There you go. So yeah, so so I mean, I'm looking forward to and you know, and I, I'm going to ask you about that. You know, um, spring practice and stuff. How's it going? I'm, I'm looking forward to a great season, a real good season. I put it that way. From the football team, we did have a very exciting. Um, Basketball season, definitely with the ladies. I'm sure that the men, you know, will, will come along. They Baseball come. is doing well. Matter of fact, Mo, you got that. I got a question for you. Um, so yeah, man, that, that that's all I was gonna say on what you were saying, man. I think the my mindset now is we can't elevate and we can't that's, take it to the next level. See, that's that's all I'm saying. That's why right. I was saying, like, as long as that is the position that we take, you. For example, I give you an example. Um, I had it on my mind to get Coach Reed on here for quite some time, but just like I spoke, uh, just like I said today, every every question you TD every um, if you don't ask because you're afraid to get in a no, you automatically got a no. You follow what I'm saying? You 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 you. you. So so at the end of the day, the point that I'm making is is that. You go big, go big or go home. And that's the that's my mindset when it comes to that. And um, um, yeah, man, I I also understand the the opportunity that's that that, that may be there. Hey, I I got online today. Uh I was talking to KC Dub earlier. Got online today, and we was looking at the top coaches in all America. You know, we know the top coaches, Kim Mulkey, followed by Gino R. Emma, who actually had the kind words to say. I think he's at like three point three point one along with Don Staley. So Don Staley at three million, uh, RM over three million, Marky's over three million. They're, they're, they're at the top of the food chain. Uh, a lot of championships amongst them, right? But then you have some some mid-majors. Uh, and you got you got schools that, like a Clemson, 4, 475 or something like that. It drops down substantially depending on which school you're talking about, TD. Um, but my point is, is that, this is this is what I'm saying. If you're in a space, you can potentially. But but when you look around America, you saw a lot of movement uh, this 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 week with coaching changes. The FAU coach elevated their program, and he now he gone to Michigan. 
um, um, Drake coach just went to some damn where, and then somebody just went to Vanderbilt. Uh, James Madison coach had a good season. And he just got hired at Vanderbilt. Um, to the um, Washington State coach had a good season. And he just got hired at Stanford. So, mm. so that happens all the time. You know, Jared Stackhouse was at Vanderbilt, had a bad season. He got fired. Uh, Juwan Howard was at Michigan, his alma mater. And, and look, his coaching, it went, he got fired. <laughs> so you mentioned Coach Coach P, you know what I'm saying? And he said, what? And it's in that profession, you either get elevated or terminated. So uh elevation is always the key, but it comes down to exactly what is the um Yeah, I'm with you on that, Brother Bakar. No, the reality comes down to what do we decide? Like, you know, what, what, you know, we'll see how it play out. I'll just say it that way. Joe, did you have some? I know you, Joe, Joe, Joe went, on, went off the screen. Hey. Yeah, he... Joe, what you got, brother? We'll wait for him to come back up. Coach Payne at Louisville. Yeah, man. So, it, 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 like I said, it's it's interesting, man. It's gonna come down to, you know, whatever she want to do, you know. And then what's funny is, is that the people who you got these people who who out here, you know, that the, 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 the anyway, I ain't gonna spend too much time on. Of course, the people who put out, you know, like the the, the, the fella who thought Louisville and Louisville who got mixed up with J T. Keith is his name from Clarence Ledger. He always gonna grab the stuff that's gonna always try to paint Jez you in a in a questionable light, you know, the contracts ending and all that stuff as if they ain't already, you know, there, there ain't a reason behind all this stuff, but I'll leave that alone. I'm going to go down that road. So what you got, bro? Well, I do want to make this point too. I think with uh, Coach Reed, I actually think for the first time at Jackson State uh, through all the sports, we actually have a, a coach uh on a trajectory to do something that we always wanted and that is in other sports the being that we do want is to actually make us uh a mid-major power and she can leave and go somewhere else but notice that she's actually on a trajectory to do something that has been done at any hbcu in any sport since vivian stringer was on the sidelines and notice that was a black woman as well and vivian stringer actually won the ncaa championship but Coach Reed is actually her winning percentage and her record right now at the same stage is better than Vivian Stringer's right now. So she can actually you can see something tangible. And here's the thing where she can take Jackson State to will actually hold more weight and more prestige doing it at JSU than to go and just get resources and do it on another level. Because, again, let's just say I'm going to throw something out there. Let's just say she went to a power five program. Even if you go to one that's not established or has a winning pedigree, but they have the resource to do it, all those institutions have had success, but nothing on this on the level of a Jackson State. No HBCU has done it, and not too many lower level uh, FC, well, not FC, uh, uh, Division One programs have done it. Not from a mid a mid major standpoint, so it holds a lot more weight. You know, and if she can actually, because again, that's going to add to the law of Tamika Reed. When you're talking about, I took a Jackson State, yeah, to the Sweet 16. I took a Jackson State and went to a Sweet 16 two years in a row. Then I also, because notice in the conference that we're in, that also speaks to what I've won the SWAC again, I've won the tournament again, and now we've got to the Sweet 16. But here's another, here's the other thing, and I also want to say this, not to be long winded, like you guys know, we were a 14C, right? You do know all of you listening to me, that we don't have to be a one bit lead. Y'all do know that, right? That's correct. The swag only has just an automatic qualifier from the conference tournament, but you know it doesn't have to be that way. You know we have the ability and the opportunity to change that. And you know how we change that? How so? Win conference. Win uh, conference games. Yep. When We're a one bit lead because of our RPI rating. So let's say if you – like Grambling was like, you know, 22 and 6 or something like that in the regular season. I mean, Grambling had a good winning record. Let's say Pine Bluff beat Arkansas, right? 
But let's say we had six or seven teams win multiple non-conference games. I'm talking about four or five non-conference games. If Jackson State holds true to that and, and also in the conference slate and win the tournament, I can assure you we won't be a 13 seed. You're easily talking about Jackson, Jackson State being a 7, 8, or a ninth ranked seed team. So we're only a one big lead because every conference tournament gets to go automatically free to advance. But the problem is our RPI rating is so horrible, which kind of spoke to what uh, Gino was saying. Was uh, was saying. So again, if Jackson State, let's say next season we beat a Texas Tech before, let I me. Mean, so let's say like even this year, we let's say next season in the off season, next season in the non-conference slate. Let's say that's why I mentioned early before the season. Just think if this Jackson State team had went 500 in the uh, non-conference slate. Let's say we went four and four. Do you know what our record is now? We're probably not a 14 seed. We may be on the cusp of a 13, possibly a 12. The only thing that, the thing us, the on, the only thing that worked against us was the rest of what the conference did. So we don't need UAPB to win, just beat Arkansas. We need them to win like three or four non-conference games. We need Gremlin that got that one win to get three or four more non-conference wins against Power Five teams. That's going to change it. So, so Grant Ann, I'm glad you said this, and this is what I'm kind of, this is what I'm building towards. I just kind of wanted to get all the perspective. I don't want to get on my soapbox too early because I got a lot that I do want to say about that. Uh, because this is what I will say, uh, and this is what. What is our spending power as in, in, in Black America? Loaded question. There. No, I think we won the most. We spend more. No, money. we are the most. We spend the most money out of any oh, yeah. any any uh fact any ethnic group in yes. the world. We have the largest spending power. We spend the most money. We we have the uh I forget the statistics, but the amount one point five trillion. The we amount of the money. money we spend. The amount of money that that it 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 doesn't stay. It doesn't circulate throughout our community, um, nearly as fast as it does in other communities before it exits the community. I'm right around them. So, so here's, here's my point. Zo just made a great point, as well as TD. And uh, I'm all about precedent. I I really feel like we're living history right now um, in a lot of aspects. And that's why I said this is all only going to come down to what she wants to do, because she earned the right to decide what she want to do. If she want to go take on, it depends on what challenge she wants to take on, because all of it is going to be a challenge to go to a power five. But let me be real about something. You go to a power five and you don't win right away. That that little halo, that protection, that protective cover ain't going to be there. You know what I'm saying? And that, that, that doesn't mean that she have to play it safe because of that. She could still go anywhere and, and, and do that or whatnot. But um, then and, fail and, to try. No, I, and that's why I said it, I don't have no issue with it. Not one. Sh Whatever she wants to do, this is what I, my premise is. Basically, it's it's from her to whatever she wants to do. My only thought process was this: that if the desire for her to stay was to take on that, and we have to make it, or we have to make it to where that's something that she have to really consider, then we need to make sure we go all all in, you know, in whatever capacity. That's why I've always stood and said, look, however the administration choose to go about it. If they just so happen to reach out and say, look, we need a three year commitment from the alumni base to add an additional two hundred fifty thousand dollars to the salary pool. Blah, 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 blah. I don't know. I don't know what that looks like. I'm just talking off the top of my head. Y'all know I'm visionary, but um, then we got to be willing and ready to do that. So my whole point is, is that we have the ability to pay uh, Coach Amiga Reed on the level of a power five if we wanted to. Maybe not at the top of the food chain as most power, some power fires, but we have enough to really do that, you know. And when you're talking about really elevating the pay and you being able to stay in your situation where you are comfortable, you are established, and you do have a hold on what you want to do, hey man, the sky's the limit. So at that point, we just can't say that I don't want to hear that we can't do it stuff or we ain't gonna be able to. We ain't that's a decision. That, that that that's made uh i guess from a from you know from the top you know it's a mindset too so i just believe we can do whatever the hell we want to do and i believe that you do those types of things the the movers and shakers make you change the rules for them i'm gonna say that one more time the movers and the shakers the winners winners 
redefine. What did Cat Williams say? He said it backwards. He said losers don't get to rewrite history or something like that. Yeah, so what that means is what he say, so oh, what he said. So if losers don't get to rewrite history, then that means that winners get to write history. You follow what I'm talking about? Winners get to reestablish what the standard is. Follow what I'm talking about? I'm just getting cooking now. Hey, Michelle, come on in. There. I know you. Good um, to see you. Can I ask before I start? What have you guys discussed? So I can. I don't want to be out of. Uh, no, nah, whatever. You you good? We 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 just we've been freelancing a little bit of weather talk. We talking right now. We talking about Costa Mica Reed, and as you know, we did put this up here, letting everybody know she'll be on Wednesday. But as of right now, we holding the conversation just simply about um, the thoughts on. You know, possibly what's next for her. But go ahead. Um, I just want to say, as a fellow Lady Tiger, I've seen Jackson State women when we were at our top best. And it would always hurt our heart when no one is there for the women, but everyone would come for the men, even though the women back in the day still had the better record. Um, I think that we still take women for granted. And I like the um, Instagram you sent right now. Women basketball is very popular. Um, I know there are some people out there who just can't fathom of giving a woman <laughs> that type of money, um, but we don't support our own. I've seen it there um, at Jackson State at home games. There's no reason why I say them should not be full. And what makes it even worse is that the kids on the campus that got the tickets already don't even show up. So what can we do to let them understand how important it is to support our women? Because trust me when I tell you, when I saw it, my heart kind of, I was excited for them, Kim, for the angle out of you, to let for our team to be in that facility and to see all those people there and the way they, one thing I can say about people, that's I think um, West One Thing Zo said, it's an experience. It's not just a game. It's like, it's an experience. So when you go there, you like, oh my God, this wasn't just a game. This was a whole production. Um, I, it's time for us to elevate ourselves and believe that we can do it. Um, I don't want to go ahead. Of, I don't want to go ahead because I think I shared with you when I spoke to you today about a lot of us still don't think we are worthy of even having her. And it's that mindset that we have. Um, I told Ken, I was watching, I saw what the, the old Miss coach said, and I also saw what um, the coach from UConn said. But I went in, I wasn't worried about what they said. I would start looking at the responses of not white people, but black people saying, she too good for HBCU. I mean, this is what? I, 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 so people, people are actually saying we're not worthy. Yes, oh. see, you, you're doing, you're doing, see, you're doing really okay, good. Okay, let me back up. I want to get ahead. Hold on. You're doing real good. Just stay off, like, Twitter, bro. Don't ever go out there. Just, just okay, TV. Yeah, just stay in your bubble, bro. You you've been doing real well. No, no, and here's it's it's a few people say it directly. You have a lot of anti HBCU people, but we I think sometimes we give them people way too much airtime. We gotta just start muting them. Don't even entertain them because they just have some people that just what they say you you all all skin folk ain't your kin folk. You know that already. But the point I guess that, but it's still the self hatred that I still what I'm. saying that I'm looking at it in the bubble, but Tita, yeah, I just start looking at the responses and and it just like she deserves better, as if like who's and if you just I, listen, I, I, it, she deserves better. And I'm going, you, and I didn't. I, this is what I didn't do, Ken. I did not respond. I just sat there. I said, this is not worth my strokes. But they was like, yeah, she too good. She deserved better. She deserved hey, to get a chance to make it over. I, and I'm like going. You just put it poetically for you, TD. But you, you, I'm a, let me let me say this though. Um, the thing is, it's no different than in your own personal life, right? You could be doing something and you'll have haters, right? But the thing is, it comes with the territory. The thing is, is that they really don't exist until you breathe life into them, right? So again, how they feel don't matter, and it shouldn't. You have to focus on those who do believe in you. You have, to focus, you have to focus, you have to redirect your energy to those who are championing you and, and share your vision. So, right. for an example, like I'm gonna use that what you saw on Twitter, right? People are saying, Oh, she's too good for that. 
The thing is, you don't see that. You you put your energy onto those who can see her value because, you know, black people devalue black things. You put your value into the opinions of those who value you. But the problem is we tend and, and, and I'm going to say it as, as a group and black people as a whole, we tend to. But I even say it like we get the football season. Right. It's like we want. It's almost like we want mm-hmm. validation even from our enemies. You know what I'm saying? Or those that's who are part against. Of, that's part say of it. That we, want, we want validation from our enemies. We want them, and watch this, and we want them to verbalize what we want them to say. And if they don't do so, we have a problem with that. And I'm saying we as a whole. And it's just like, no, focus your energy on those who have faith and believe in you. So, because watch this, those same people who are saying that, you know what Coach Reed got to do? The very thing I just told you. Let her take Jackson State to the next level. Let her take Jackson State to win. Let Jackson State win a uh, NCAA tournament game. Let Jackson State then get to the Sweet 16. Let her so, keep making these steps. And let her let her keep reaching these plateaus that you can't do. It's 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 a it's a microcosm of of, of life in a sense. All, hey, you can't. They can't do it. She can't do it. She's better there. Let her keep doing it. Another notch. Another notch. Another thing. They say, they say, they say until you do. All you gotta do is shut them up and just do it. Oh no, I agree with you, Zoe. I, and I, I, I love what I think. I think someone said, I think it might have been TD. But when you guys said, this is pivotal for us, and I'm, I'm excited about it. I'm just glad that we are realizing how valuable we are. And Jack, to me, um, I think about um, what's the guy from Charlotte who say we are a blessed college. <laughs> like no. this year, our baseball team, our basketball team, our football team. Win- winners. Just... winners breed run- winners. Man, it's been oh. amazing. And I'm going, we are such a blessed it's university. A atmosphere. But this is all this is this is what I want to say. Joe, Joe, that's a good point. And this is the thing, you just focus on um, it's really not. I'm telling you, we get way too much. We really like. What do we like? Like again, I don't see the opposition and why we can't change something from what it is if we want to do it. If we want to keep it and we want to have that, we have to adjust. We can actually fight against though. There's nothing wrong with folks wanting your coach. That's actually a great thing. That means you winning. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, And now, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you got a decision you gotta make. Do you do what you need to do to retain that coach, or do you just say, "Hey, we'll just go grab another one"? You know what I mean? Um, I'm saying it's kind of a, it's a, it's, it's, it's what will we say? Two things mature at the same time. Now, what I'm not saying is, is that moving up to a higher level isn't elevation, because there is an opportunity to make. And a substantial more uh, amount of more money, um, absolutely. And um, but here's what tends to happen: the programs that are being really paid attention to are the programs that have the stars on them. I'm gonna say that again. I don't watch no. Louisville versus West Virginia. I ain't interested in that game. Who the hell played for them? <laughs> I'll watch LSU play West Virginia because who playing for LSU? Angel Reese. Right. Lift, uh, Blo J. Johnson, Morrow. I know all they how the hell I know they whole roster. Cause I just I just tune into them. You know what I'm saying? I watch Caitlin Clark go shoot three from the timeline. You know what I'm saying? It's entertaining. <laughs> I, I, I'm serious. I go watch, you know, uh, I was watching uh, uh, Paige Beckers tonight. That Ashley Shade girl that shot her eye, she was still hitting the night, TD. <laughs> she was still stroking. You know what I'm saying? Paige Beckers had 32. I, I was watching Paige before we even watched, uh, before we even scheduled you. Because So my point is this. Um, man, it ain't nothing like your, you know, we, we got to, listen, folks, if you're not, yeah, yeah, I'm going to say this, and this is not controversial. If you're not black, don't take it. Just, just turn your ears off. Just don't even listen. Don't even, just, just don't worry about it. <laughs> I am not going to apologize for being proud to love us and our stuff. 
too many times we get vilified when we start being pro us as if we're saying I'm anti everything. Now the world has been anti black since. <laughs> well, I'm gonna say it different. I it's love you for me. I know. I'm just saying. I'm talking about us in general. But I'm saying the world is anti black for the most part. But when black people, the anomalies, when black people start loving his own stuff, Ooh. all of a sudden that's a problem. How is that offensive? I'm just saying. So I said that to say this. When he didn't look at the comment. From the shop, bro. What the hell are you talking about? The shop with uh LeBron. Look, uh, well, guess what? You say it's not offensive, right? But when somebody thinks something offensive, what do they do? Play defense. Yeah, I don't know. When some when, you, when somebody think you're offensive, they play defense. Hey, um, hey Rochelle. Yes, uh, ma'am. I want to address something that you said when you were speaking, and correct me if I'm wrong, because I may not heard you correctly. Sure. Uh, but women is very valued uh, in in today's time. So now, you know, I, I can't say we'll speak for every man, but I will say this: behind most successful men, there's a strong woman. So women are very much valued. Their opinion is very valued these days, and actually, women basketball and stuff has been uh, taken off pretty well. So yeah. we support women. You know, I mean. So women are supported and listened to and appreciated, you know what I'm saying, when when they speak. You know, the thing about it is, you know, when you speak, make sure you know what you're talking about. And well, I'm referring to the support that we've gotten at Jackson State when it comes to girls, the girls basketball. I don't, I see what's in the stands. I remember even younger days when Jackson State girls played Louisiana Tech. Like, that was a big game. I'm talking years, so I'm saying the consistency of Jackson State is that when was the last time we had a sellout of the girls' basketball team? But no. but you know what? That, that is why this era, this, that's why this era right now with Coach Reed and what she's doing is so important. You watch the stands next year because of what is transpiring. So each year as time get as the season go on, the winning keeps pouring in, the talent keeps coming in. Now everybody want to see the phenomenon that you know that we got in from from California or uh, got in from you know uh Atlanta, you know. So now you put you know, so with the attention that she has brought to the sport right now, and if she chooses to stay and the crew to continue to go the way that it's been going, then that's gonna automatically happen. People love the winner. So I'll you say, say when you lose, I'll, you lose the I'm, I'm gonna now say we have, uh, that wasn't let me throw this in here real quick, Zoe. There was absolutely an increase in attendance this season. Right. It it, it wasn't a sellout, but it was a it was it was a it was a higher amount of attendees. Uh what's up, my guy? What's going on, big dog? What's up with you, man? Shout out to uh Mr. Mr. Mulligan. By the way, man, y'all make sure y'all go cop them uh them mulligan shirts, by the way. I'm glad you pulled up on us. Hey, we got them kids sizes right now. Still got uh, check the inventory on the website, kc1400media.com. Go on, grab you one of them T-shirts if you haven't grabbed one. Hey, Earth, uh, Coach Walker grabbed the T-shirt, said he going to put that thing, he going to put it on, said the T-shirt was fire. Uh, shout out to my brother Merch Pack for actually uh, helping us uh, put that uh, put that together, man. But go ahead. Uh, Jeremiah, uh, you knew what I meant. Quit playing with me. But go ahead, on uh, Zoe. No, I was just going to say uh, to TD's point, you know, when we say, you know, when people love a winner, love is subjective. Uh, and I'm going to say what type of love? We have an increase in attendance, but, you know, you say, well, we're winning. Well, guess what? We've been we winning have, for what well, we've been winning. Hold on. We've been winning for a while and we had a better showing to, to give you an example. We had a much better showing and greater success in the conference with wins in the season that we beat that we play LSU right and now let's get them would, lights up and you would think at that point in time because the buzz after that loss was way more substantial than this loss right yeah. and so sometimes when you start to have enough success you become complacent. um you become complacent or it, be, it loses its luster because again you're going to have um, winning fatigue because we won at a great clip. And it's hard to, it's like, it's like the Alabama effect, right? It's hard to sustain that year in and year out. Now, granted, we've had a slight uptick in attendance, and that's to be commended. But 
you know, again, the AAC holds 8,000. We're not getting half of that. I'll be willing to bet you, even when it comes to attendance, I'm, I'm willing to bet you. I don't even know what it is, but I'm willing to bet you it's still probably a shade under 2,000. But, Zoe, you, you, were, you referenced the LSU game in, the, in 2021, that, that era. That is what helped trigger you, uh, uh, trigger you what's going on right now. That right there brought eyeballs. And now, as time go on, it bringing more eyeballs. This right here is going to get bigger. So here's the thing. That's that 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 is exactly my point. So I, I, I never heard anyone get uh stalemated because somebody winning and 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 lack of attendance. If you get the right, like we got Dejan Ruffin, a lot of people are interested in seeing that young man play. Yeah, that young man coming and start lighting it up. Then people are gonna start hearing about him and gonna want to want to know what's going on. Same way Jack Town basketball used to be back in the day. I'm, Everybody wants to know. I'm gonna say this. I hear you. Uh, for your sake, I hope that to be true. All I'm going to tell you is, I'm going to hold my breath. Don't let me die. But this is the thing, Zoe. You got to have that same mentality as for what you just said about Twitter. We got to get back. I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. But it's based off of old data. We're going to have to. The, 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 the university is. The university still has a job to do in marketing the program. Right. We have to market the program, um, and and this is why I suggested. I got a suggestion. I always got suggestions. <laughs> oh, 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 before you go, before you go here, let me say this. Now, now, TD, let me let me say this. I'm not being pessimistic when I say this because I actually believe it. I hope I hope what you're saying to be true. All right. Let me let me let me first say that. I hope what you're saying to be true because on to say like low hanging fruit, it's like yeah, we win. Things should go up, right? And I look, I, and I, I hope to see that. Now, I'm not gonna say that it's not gonna happen. That's why it's I feel like we really. don't change the behaviors. That's, what I'm, that's, what, I'm, that's, that's, what, I'm, that's what I'm about to get to. I was about to say, that's only one part of it. We got full-fledged, tangible work that needs to be well, That's what I'm about to break down. I'm, you, you, you jump back in there, but this is what I wanna say. I got a <laughs> suggestion. I'm gonna say it again. What's your suggestion? Make Austin Robinson the director of media for athletics. Period. And you athletics. Follow me on this. Now we have done an amazing job with raising our our uh, social media presence, our yeah. media content. It's our, it's through the roof. We can can we not be better though? Yes, we can. So when you say let's be better in this area, that doesn't mean that you're you're poking a hole and saying we're not doing a great job. It's a, this is my thoughts. I, we get this. We this, this late night with with the crew. We ain't we ain't calling no shots at Jack State. We ain't got no pool no. like we just talking. So don't right. get any feelings behind what I'm suggesting. Now, I did mention <laughs> Austin. Never leave that long. But anyway, uh, <laughs> but my point is this. My mentality is this. Hey, do it for all sports. Oh, we get Coach Amiga Reed inked in for a few more years at Jackson State. That need to be the biggest press run you can make. Every single recruit, and I'm not saying they're not doing a good job on their pro, but we have to keep the consistency rolling. We got to make sure we constantly putting that data out there, constantly showing forth what they're doing. Show your work, prove your work. Start really pushing, get to the AAC. We did a great job, great job this year. University, hand clap over job. I saw it with my own two eyes because I was physically there at most of all the, huh? Oh, man, I'm listening. <laughs> you, I got, I got no, a whole different thing going on. No, we ain't doing no petition. We ain't that. We ain't. We ain't got. We ain't on that level. We just. I, 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 I'm talking baseball, man. Go ahead. I'm listening. Oh, no, 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 no. When you shaking your head, I mean, I'm like, follow me because I need you. <laughs> My here with baseball right now. I'll okay, be, go ahead. Leave that long for now. We, we, we I need because the reason I say that is because I really need <laughs> your commentary on this. Okay, all, right. all I'm saying is, is that don't let Jeremiah and them distract you, man. Cause they love going into their own little world, bro. I, I, actually, I actually started it. My bad. Go ahead. Go ahead. Joke, go ahead. Man. He, don't get in your feelings, bro. I know you, <laughs> you asked more a question and it kind of it just kept going on and on. All but right. I'm talking, and you were like, I was like, what the hell did what I just say? Oh, I'm, sorry. I'm, I'm, just, I'm sorry, my bad, brother. My bad. No, 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 no. I, I'm I'm everybody's spot on. All we're saying, this is really what we're saying. 
man, how can we get the AAC full? Full, a little bit better, more full. Now, I got one for you. I talked to A.D. Robinson. I had a reason why I was going this direction. I ain't breaking no news. I'm just telling you what he said to a group of us when we were sitting down talking. I ain't got no esoteric secrets or nothing. But this is what he said. I think going into next season, you're going to have men's and women's basketball kind of doing, they're going to be sharing, they're going to have games on Thursday nights, Saturday nights, and Monday nights. Mm -hmm. So what you may have, TD, instead of coming to the AAC for two games on Thursday night, because you got to go to work. You come for one night, for one game. Everybody get home early. You see what I'm saying? So if we have a game at 530, you back, you home, you, you, you home 730, 8 o'clock, right? Saturday, you have two games. You might have a men and a women's game. And then on Monday, you may just have a men's game. So the women's game may be on Thursday night. The men's game may be on Monday night. So they're going to do the schedule like, Power five schools. Exactly. Power five schools do that all the time. UT don't UT women don't play the same damn time that UT men play. Oh, really? No. They can't be just they too much. Whole different, they on a whole different everything. I'm you see how different how the non-conference schedule was? That's how their schedule goes. It's not like that. We we just do it collectively because it, it helps save money. You don't have to pay, you got you don't have to operate. You know that you know for for multiple games, but he was thinking about you know just people. He feels like if people aren't you know what I'm saying it's gonna help with attendance. People be more. Uh, out Go ahead. Well, I gonna say one other thing that this does too. This actually frees up a scheduling standpoint for non-conference games for both sports too. Oh. Hey Jay Shaw, Jay Shaw, separate courts. Come on, bro. We yeah, just so I'm not separate arenas. We need a new. I thought we just get a new court. Let's just start there. We're not, hey, we, we ain't figuring out that rabbit hole. No, no, no. I ain't even trying to be nasty. I'm just saying, like, if we, we ain't getting no separate court. Let me just say that. It was just, it was just but you bad. know what, Ken? And what you're saying, for I instance, love, I love the vision to get there, but that's a, that, that's a, that's a, I, I'm with you. I'm, so no, I'm this is, what, that's true. this go is ahead. what I'm thinking. The same way the football players go to the, to the um, schools and do certain things. Because if the women by themselves, and it's so right now, and you are right, and like everyone is looking at women's basketball, even to begin to have our um, women to go to the, the local schools, because people be amazed of how they just want to be part of something, having other basketball, the young basketball teams to come and even watch the, the, the women play and have it in a way that um, seeing, I think seeing, I know for a fact the way we are now, um, seeing the younger, the younger women, like they asking for their autographs. It's the same way. I think sometimes we don't realize how um, we just talk young about girls need those mentors, and this can be just a great. <laughs> we just talked about this today. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so here's a remedy: reduce, reduce the AAC from eight thousand seats to six thousand. I said that today, man. You have better leg room. I'll give you another one. Wi-Fi. 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 We don't have Wi-Fi in there? Wi I'm not saying we, we should have public Wi-Fi that we should. That every arena that you go into now is starting to incorporate Wi-Fi because everybody wants to be on their phone. It helps. You know what I'm saying? That's, That's great I mean, marketing, though, Ken. Ken, that is awesome marketing. Yeah, trust, trust me. I, I, I get it. You know what I'm saying? And then you have more leg room. But listen, not just 6,000 seats. You can increase the attendance by adding sweets. Yep. Sweets. So what I said after that game on Saturday was I would go full court press. And this is, listen, everything that we're talking about, I just want y'all to understand that we have a great athletic director and he has said all this stuff in, 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 in various different settings. Because he was like, man, I, I hey, he just kind of threw, I don't know if this is something, and he, and you know him, he very, he kind of silent assassin. He don't really show, say what he's doing. But he mentioned he kind of threw out a number. Man, if he had $10 million, he'd renovate the AAC. I was like, damn, man, why don't we just do a $10 million uh, 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 donation? I don't know. I mean, and maybe that's something to, that's, that's something to come. But then he rolled out the Jazz U by 40 and say, look, man, we could, we could do a whole lot more, you know, with that. And that's that was the premise behind that, you know. Um, 
but think about that. If we if we if we were to take ten million dollars and renovate, you know, the the the, the AAC. Of course, you got to have some dorms and all that stuff too. But um, we're talking about basketball right now. We ain't talking about nothing else because you know when you go to mention about renovate, they come all the, the everybody saying, "Who you? What we? We did we did this?" Focus, people. Focus. We're not talking about that. But that is a great point. We did talk about that, Ephraim. So you spot on. Go ahead. I can. In, 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 in your great plan and, and planning of all this thing, can we have like a little dance area so I can learn how to do the slow wine? So we the can slow play. wine. What the yeah, man, that's the dance that they be doing, man. When they be playing that slow wine, then they be oh, yeah. oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know how to do that, bro. <laughs> so, it's, so how you it's, it's, like so you gotta be in the game, bro. When that song come on, hold on, hold on, hold on, King. Hold on, man. Sing that one more time. Do that again. Now he don't do that again. What you just did? Hey man, no, 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 no. Um, um, back. Rewind some more. Slow. Why you were singing the verse? You were doing your little cap of shimmy. Do that one more time. Hey man, you had a boy coming out of. Oh, don't do that, dog. Don't do that. No. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, don't no, be me, man. That's, uh, that's the jam right there, bro. That's the jam. I don't have a clue what it is, but my I first time. I tell you what, Titi, the way you were moving, I can tell you like when it come on when you were in the condo. <laughs> hey, do you know what's crazy about that, though? The only time I've ever heard that song is at a at the basketball game. I've never yeah. heard that song outside that. <laughs> and everybody know how to do it. You know what I'm saying? Like. I, the whole, the, look, the whole gym get up. All the kids get up, start doing it, everything. Who sings the song, TD? I don't have a clue. Oh, I actually pulled it up that night. I left. <laughs> I pulled it out. <laughs> <laughs> you I'm, I'm, I'm about to see your video. Okay. Who we'll, we'll sing it, TD? Send it to me, man. All right, I'll see you in the video. Okay. Get, carry on. <laughs> <laughs> Hey man, let's let's lock out these. Uh, hey, we got a couple of preliminaries, man. As we stated, we got Coach Tamika Reed on on uh, on Wednesday, man. Uh, Nine fifteen p.m. We have the coach on. Y'all be sure to pull up the goat. She definitely uh be in in the building, man. Jack State University head women's basketball coach uh, be joining us on Wednesday. Uh, as of course y'all know, she's a coach of the year from the SWAC, voted as the top. Uh, women's basketball coach, man, by uh, uh, Live for Sports. Um, the committed, we got a new date, y'all. We got a new date, August 24th. We had to change the date on the fundraiser. Uh, this will be the week before the first home game. No, the first football game of the season, not first home game. Same place, same time, Jackson Convention Complex. Y'all be sure to go to the Eventbrite, uh, committed the experience dot eventbrite dot com and start grabbing your tickets now, man. It's gonna be a an amazing um, event to raise money for JSU football program. Again, we got Sonny in trials, the baby tigers. Uh, Zola, like he was spinning over there, like it's like it's like his Wi Fi done went out. We, I thought it was me because I'm in a <laughs> <laughs> yep. There you go. He should be, he might be back on, but um, but yeah, man, April 27th. Uh, if you, if you got any uh, any kids interested in being a, a part of the baby tiger program, um, uh, there he is. Yeah, there you go. What was I saying? We got the the committed event uh, moved to August the 24th. It was going to be next week, but it, we moved it to the 24th. Shout out to DJ Unpredictable. Uh, football fundraiser. Uh, Baby Tiger event, uh, April 27th. Make sure you go to – send an email to thebabytigers at gmail.com if you're interested. Uh, I thought this was pretty cool. I uh, put that out. The Jack State University named one of the best HBCUs with online degrees of 2024 by Forbes Advisor Education. So Jack State, man, one of the best. We always like to be the best at everything we do, but uh, we, we always appreciate the love whenever they shout us out for a, a great uh, educational uh, program. Pro Day was today. Looking forward to this is a dope edit by, by by the way, man. Shout out to, to ASVP, man. Always doing it big, man. Is that the that's the vet back there? Man, that is hard. It is. Wow. 
Jack State Pro Day was today. Um, no, I was not at Pro Day. <laughs> um, but, yeah, man, I know Isaac Peppers, D uh, DJ Stevens, Tim Stewart. Who was that? Andre Hunt, John Huggins, Jaheim Hazel, Josh Clark, Solomon Forbes, uh, Rogers. I said Solomon Forbes. <laughs> Solomon Rogers. Um, who was that? Uh, Deontay Graham and George McCarley. Jump ball George, man. Uh, hopefully they did well. I'll get the latest and greatest on 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 how they did, and uh, we'll talk about it on Wednesday. <clears throat> Blue and white week is next week, man. So starting April the third through the seventh, you got a whole host of events, man. Uh, on the third, you got the student athletic committee, athlete com uh, community service day. Uh, on Thursday, you got the golf tournament. Then you got the Jonah reception on Friday, Saturday. You got the blue and white game, and Sunday you got the blue and white brunch, man. Of course, the Blue and White Brunch will be at M Bar from 11 a.m. until. Now, for those who are interested, <clears throat> we'll be over there at the Lake Caroline Golf Club on next Thursday, man, April 4th. $250 per person, $1,000 per team. If you're interested in playing golf in the W.C. Gordon Ashley Robinson Golf Classic, go to gojsutigers.com slash WC. A R golf and sign up, or you can just go to the social media page and click the link, follow the link. Of course, the spring game is on the sixth. And uh looking forward to seeing everybody out there, man. That's it for okay. Them. TV just sent me the video. I gotta love us. The whole send me the video. Was, you video. What you send that? I sent it to it, everybody. It, 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 it was amazing. Let me check you this out. Check it out. Oh. Oh yeah, this was at the AAC. Oh, yeah, yeah. This was, I want to see C. Lee do it. No, I'm trying to see you do it. Yeah. I do. That it. was beautiful. I do. That was beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Even if you can't play the music, in, you got to just the whole the whole stadium. Uh, I, I needed to know. Hey man, somebody drop y'all drop the uh drop the name of the artist in the it's, name of the song in the chat. It's slow wine. It's called slow wine. Slow wine. Yeah, yeah, they did. Somebody dropped it already. Somebody dropped they it. Did. Where is that? Where is it? Let me go back up. Let me go back up. Oh, Slow Wine by S. Dot. Okay. Okay. That was, that was, that was amazing. How did everybody, I love us. Like everybody just, everybody knew to do this. I guess it must be on the video or something. I love us. You just got to, just even though turning music down, but I love us. That was amazing. That was it. <laughs> oh, look, TD, I gotta learn that one. I, I'm you, don't, <laughs> don't mess with you. KT Dub, KT Dub, I do it. Hey, KT Dub, I do all of them. Look, every time she puts them on emphasis. Shut up, KT. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody said that's the anthem. Okay. I oh even... my God! It just—it just. I love us. I'm gonna do a TikTok. That was beautiful. I was like, we just know how to. It's such a family. That looks such like a family that's... affair. Yeah, hey, that was like, like, like when we was at uh when we had when we was at Jazz, you had to learn the school song. Everybody got to learn that dance. Come to the game. Because <laughs> <laughs> look, because TD, everybody knew it. Like everybody knew it. Hey y'all, we're gonna go ahead and drop the uh while we're here. We got hey. about 25 minutes left. Hey, hey Ken, Ken, break break off some spring stuff to us, man. You went to practice. Zoe, I don't know if you made it to anything, man. How how's it looking? What 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 y'all got? Well, got? I, I'll say this about the next week all team, man. Um I would say very intense, uh very um I love I love the um the direction that we we're headed. I mean, I love the, the attention to details that the coaches are really emphasizing. Right now, it's too early, man. We we really just it's they're installing uh new defense, new uh, you know, some some new new offensive wrinkles here and there. Coach, you know, the coaches are, are um the practices look like how they've looked in the past. The structures hasn't changed much, T D. Mm -hmm. Um Intensity in the trenches. Uh Zai looks great. You know what I'm saying? Jacobian looks great. Uh look looks looks pretty good as well. Uh Ethan Terrell looks uh pretty good, man. So it's uh, you know, deep running back room. 
but we got a lot of players that are going to be getting on the field um but they they're not even there yet so we still got a lot and then two keep in mind the portal opens on the 15th of april so the portal will be open for 15 days uh will we have any players hit the portal it's possible you know the team over in florida that won last year um they 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 getting hit with a quite a bit of exits so it's um we'll see what happens man so ha has Irv touched the field or he's still kind of rehabbing? Yeah, yeah, yeah he, he's been, I mean, some practices he's, you know, he's been, you know, rehabbing and then in a couple practices he's, uh, he's been out there, you know, moving around a good little bit. He and I talked last practice I was there and, uh, he, you know, he, he got some healing to do. It was good to see JD out there. JD was out there, um, with okay. him as well, rehabbing and, um, yeah, man. We looking good, man. I mean, I just don't I don't think we we look to me we look incomplete because I just know of some, you know, some potential um I guess expansion on the roster and then also with some of the players that we know that are part of the team that's not there. Uh okay. but we look like we, you know, we we look like a, you know, we got a, some 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 good stuff going on for the spring, man. Um Will there be a new linebacker? No, it's not. The linebacker coach came in before Hammock left. Um, now, whether we would hire a, 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 a special teams coach, um, I'm pretty sure we will do something, you know, something to that effect. Uh, but I'm not sure how we're going to do it or how we're going to approach that. So that that's, that's Coach TC is very, um, very tight with how he – go about his process with adding coaches to his staff. So I tend to stay away from that and just kind of watch what he do. But Coach hey. Hammond did leave. He is the new defensive coordinator at Long Island University. Mm. Well, not to change the subject, I just figured I'd go ahead and, and, and actually just say this. So y'all know my bro been doing a whole lot of work, man, from the, all throughout the season going up to now. Dude just moved from Cali to, to UConn and back to Cali. So I told him, I actually told him about this about two months ago. So uh, I ordered my bro something. Actually came through today. Actually ordered about five of them, actually. Okay. I said, you know what, I'm going to sit there and I'm going to show y'all because it was actually sold out all over the country. And hey, bro, look what it came in, dog. Can you see that? Uh, you got to move that. Bubble wrap, dog. You see that? You see that now? You see the bubble, bubble wrap? Okay, I see the bubble wrap. What's in the bubble wrap? Oh, bubble wrap. But I thought, I was like, oh, damn. What you got in that thing, man? So I got like... I got like five of them. Let me open this thing up, man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if y'all can see me. Y'all see that right there? That's a Shay. That's that Laportier. That's that Laportier. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, dog. So got, oh, you're a real one for that one, bro. I appreciate that, baby. I got I got my bro. All I need is a guy, a, little, a good old cigar. And a, so man, let me tell you, I got I actually I ended up getting five bottles. So, so it was sold out. I had to wait. Wow. I almost hey, hey, that was why Shay Shay jumped out the car with that orange uh purse on his shoulder. Looking all, <laughs> looking all, looking all so, strong and buff. So listen, so yes, I, I got five bottles. So actually I I got this almost three. And you know what's ago. crazy is that the bottle that uh uh my brother uh <laughs> Al Al B225 got got me that douce. Over in Vegas, I got about this much douce left. I've been, hey, 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 Miss Rochelle, you know, brother, you know, eating the time, you know what I'm saying? Put a little something in my little Jack Daniels glass, and it don't be nothing but a little bit, little sweet sleep, help you sleep good. Do you hear me? So, look, so look, man. My bro. Little apple juice, though. I've been mixing it with a little apple juice. I, now, not just any apple juice, that Martinelli's. <laughs> Hey, best apple juice. Man, the best apple juice on earth, TD. You don't tell, don't look like that, bro. You, you ain't never no more. <laughs> more. Come on now, dog. Hey, so, hey. So yeah, man. So <laughs> look, uh, hey, hey, bro, bro. I got about this much left, man. I'm almost done. <laughs> so now, nah, man, my bro had my, my bro was doing this thing. So I was like, man, let me give him treat my bro to something. So I ended up getting him a bottle. He just started, uh, you know, getting the thing. I said I'm gonna add to his collection. So. I got him one, got my dad one, got me one, got my brother-in-law one. So it'd be in Jackson. I appreciate that, bro. I, I, a hell of a surprise to me. 
I listen. I I'll say this, man. I'm not. I don't drink as much as as much as I used to when I was younger. But I'll 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 sip a little bit, um, just especially at home, hey, you know. Hey, hey Ken, when I just don't give you that bottle, man. Just put me a little water juice. <laughs> <laughs> I got you, baby. Hey, matter of fact, hey, 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 look, I, I got you, big dog. I got you, bro. Let me take a little water. Hey, juice, look, Mark, I, hey, I got it. I got. I will say this though. I'm gonna say no, this. Mar- 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 no, Marcus ain't on here. Marcus, Marcus got me a, a what was that? A, a a bottle of Don Julio. I ain't opened that one yet. That thing, still, that thing still up in there in my bar right now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Say what that apple juice do, Ken? Hey, hey, hey! Listen, 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 man! That Martinelli's is the is is, is is the best apple juice on earth. It is. A, a no not debate. E-A, not E A R T H. E A R F. Earth. Just saying, bro. Whatever they got in it, I don't even check the ingredients. It's good. It's a hundred percent juice. That's the only juice I drink. I, I, I'm just saying. Say, but you're making my point for me. We are consistently competitive. And so listen, um. The team, we do look like winners. We look good, y'all. I, I don't want to oversell it, though, because I, I just feel like in times past, you see something, you get a little too excited about it, and it's like, hmm. I told y'all, I, I'm, I'm calling it like I see it. We got a lot of work to do, and I say that with cautious optimism. This team has to – this is what I'm going to say about our football team, and I know Irv is here. He don't mind me saying this. Our team has – everything that we need to be the celebration bowl champions it's going to come down to one thing how bad we want it mm. it's up to us it's up to I us i received it i'm serious i mean we got it though we got the quarterback we got the running backs we got the offensive line we got the tight ends we got the coaching we got the defensive coaching. Man, this is a star-studded defensive coaching staff, man. In case y'all didn't know that. Young too, man. Man, our defensive, our defensive coaches are so we got a young defense. Bro, we we might be averaging TD like 20, 20 seven. Oh wow. Young hey, hungry, man. young hungry men, huh? Yeah. Jesus, hungry. <laughs> yeah, they want to win. Hey, Joe, Joe. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hey, so I want you to tell me, man, what 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 is your? I know we want the whole team to be great, but what what a key spot are you looking at for for improvement? What where you want to see the biggest improvement? For me, man, it's linebacker. That's that's the one everybody will say. But for me, I'm gonna say quarterback. Hmm. Uh, not that not that we're bad there. It's okay. just that I really, in, the, in my heart of hearts, feel like the maturation of Jacoby and Ozai, for that matter, if either of them take a step, and again, when I say a step, I'm not saying like either one of them got to go out here and throw for 4,000 yards, 40 touchdowns. It ain't none of that. What I'm saying is, you know, we can see a stark growth from last year to year to this season. For an example, you know, we all know that in any football team, you make your biggest leap from game one to game two, right? That's a brand new team, brand new coaching staff. So now we have consistency going from year one to year two. So now we should see growth, you see what I'm saying, from year one and year two. And if you see any type of growth or maturation at the quarterback position, that's going to bode well for us. And again, so- and, and, and again, if we have above play at quarterback, Mm. An above average quarterback play can actually override bad linebacker play in some instances. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, a bad, a b- above average quarterback play could mask some deficiencies. You know what I'm saying? On the team. That's why I say that. Okay. I respect but that. Then, uh, so so this is what I want to I want to ask you this then. Like you said, most people would have said linebacker, but you said quarterback. Is it a situation? Uh, because we know what Jacobian did the last few game of the season. Uh, do you want to see certain situations uh, at that position? Far as um, I don't want to use the word critical, but uh, decision making, you know, or do you feel that no teams didn't have enough film to scout against them? 
And now you want to see how that works. Once people are able to see him in uh, extensive games, I, that part don't matter to me. I mean, <clears throat> I mean, you won't have a whole season to roll with it now. To me, it's everything. You know, game management. You know, what I'm saying knowing the difference on down and distance. You know, what I'm saying you mm-hmm. know going when the play break down, still going to the right read, not making bad decisions, getting out of bad plays. It's a multitude of things. But the thing is, what and even when I say that, that can all look different for me, you, and Ken, right? For what we're looking at. But the thing is, here's the funny part. And what I'm saying, when you see it, you'll know it. You see what I'm saying? Right. You'll, you know, you'll sit there and say, oh, yeah, I see it now. He's gotten better from last year. Whatever that entails, even between the three of us, you will know it when you see it. You see what I'm saying? Hey. Because bear in mind, even the last three games, because, for example, even that Pine Bluff game when he – had some good stats, right? There was still some bad moments in there. You know what I'm saying? There was some few plays. But again, it's like, hey, he hadn't played. He hadn't had that many reps. You see what I'm saying? So you should see growth, even with that being said, from last season to this season. That's fair. One thing I'll add to that, TD. Um, you know, one thing that I do see out there with this team that I would say that's a lot better than last year's team? What's that? Cohesion. Um, a unity. Cohesion, yes. Cohesion. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Um, we got a roster of men that that want to be at Jackson State, and I love it. Are there a few that might decide that they want to do something different? Possibly. Possibly. But you know what? The, 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 the vast majority of every player out there wants to be at Jackson State. They want to be. They know they can be special. They know that this team could, could win it all. Because the beauty of it is with this is that if you win the SWAC, if you win the SWAC, you're playing on this. First of all, the SWAC championship is on national television. And then, two, you get to play on that same channel that the women just played on just the other day if you get to that celebration bowl. You follow with them? The three really? I mean, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and that's, 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 a whole different, that's a whole different thing. So, again, uh, <laughs> I like the fact that we, you know, we where we are. Um, we got we got our chances, and it's it's some parity in the league. Nobody is that you can't take no 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 weekends off, no games off. You got to come with it every game, and I like that you got you got depth at every position. And like Coach O said when he was on the channel, hey, look, man, ain't nobody comfortable. <laughs> you don't get to be comfortable. Hey, I love Irv. Irv, no, he can't be comfortable. You know what I'm saying? He go down. Hey, look, we got we got a staple of running backs in there that's all trying to get snap CD. If Jacobian, hey, Jacobian got that number, got, got Zach McDonald sitting right there. Zach got Jacobian sitting right there. So they're gonna push each other. And they, both of them got Ethan. I just about to say, right. You know what I'm saying? And 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 you know, everybody has that player that's gonna be there to push them, and, and that's what you really want. You want that. That room full of comp- competition, friendly competition, and one thing you see really happening um, is is the um, in the wide receiver room. You see, it's, it's a very healthy competition there. A lot of depth at that position this year, a lot of depth, and I love our wide receiver coach. I'm a fan of our wide receiver coach. I just I haven't had a chance to really spend much time talking to him, but he talks with his actions, he talks with how he coaches, and I'm draw I'm I'm drawn in. By how he coaches the kids, man, attention to details, the way he, you know, takes moments and and look for coachable moments. I saw him, I'm not gonna say what he shared with him because I, I just I just saw the little nuances. I learned some things about route running, T D just standing on the track watching him talk to the players. Mm. Stuff I had never heard before, just little ways of, of getting separation. And I was like, damn, that's that's for somebody that have you know, may know it already. It's probably not a big deal, but right. for somebody that never played the position is like, damn, okay, that's 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 pretty cool to see somebody that's played it at the highest level. You know, let someone let a player know how to while you're in the middle of doing what you're doing, how to create an advantage over the defense, and that's what coaching is all about. Looking for ways to help your guys overcome the op, you know the opposition. And uh, the O line is is battling, man. The young guy got some young guys in there, battling for starting reps, and 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 some old older guys. Look, hey man, I I, I was there, and um, we we have a, a, a hey hey who? Let me say it this way, TD. 
I interviewed Isaiah Villanueva. He very well easily could be the starting center, and you could see Avery move over to guard. It's very possible. Oh, wow. It's very possible. You know what I'm saying? So there's it's that type of stuff, like the versatility on the O-line, seeing guys that are, you, you think would play outside, playing inside, seeing guys that you thought would be inside, outside. They're mixing it up. You know, they're trying to find who all could do what. And that's what you love about it, man. And then they, you know, they battling it out, you know? Hey, man. We got our same interior defensive line. I love the just the just the to still have Didi, True Thompson, Tyus, and 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 you know, still have them guys, man, in the interior is uh is pretty pretty awesome, man, to say the least, you know. And uh we got a chance, man. We got a chance, and like I said, it's gonna come down to how bad we want it. Like Brother C. Lee said, we got a good spades hand. We're going to come down to how well we're able to bid our hand and play it, whether we get a wheel or whether we get sock. <laughs> hey, hey, man, I, I wanted to say, man, uh, shout out to uh, ASVP and his team for, you know, giving me a little inside look. You know, they dropping little hints here and there, little clips here and there. Um, I definitely enjoyed the one in Rochelle where they highlighted the ladies. Yes. That was beautiful. I mean, that was, you know, saying that was great. That was great showing, man. So you do have a lot of uh student athletes who are female who's out there supporting, you know, the football team. Um, I don't know their name. I know Osha being the trainer, uh, and uh Dominique, the equipment manager. Mm -hmm. Uh, and, and there's a lot of more, you know, ladies out there that help out, even with Austin. So congrats, you know. Thank, thanks to the old ladies who were out there, you know, putting up with those sweaty guys and making sure that the teams, you know, stay healthy as possible. So, good video, Austin. Keep dropping them, man. Hey. I'm looking for it. Absolutely. Hey, uh, Jay Shaw, good question. Said with the two new coordinators, do you think they'll have the same? They'll stay with similar styles? No. Uh, and yes, yes, and no. Uh, a lot of the adjustments, Jay Shaw, you saw. Uh, last year came from the direction of our current new defensive coordinator. Uh, a lot of those uh, came up from up under his thought process in 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 in, in, in uh, conjunction with our our previous uh, DC. Um, I would say you can just scratch whatever. We, uh, we'll keep a little bit of what we saw offensively last year, but it, we'll, we'll probably for the most part have a whole different approach offensively so yeah and i think we're gonna go and try to attack uh ulm man that ulm game gonna be interesting y'all uh we're going we're going to monroe to win man we're not going to monroe just to compete i'm telling you we got what it takes to win i want to see rico have a redemption season yeah rico is out there battling man shout out to rico man for coming in and uh and just just uh, putting his head down and working, you know what I'm saying. Shout out to all them boys out there. Kobe Paul making the making catches and and just just doing what Kobe Paul do, you know what I'm saying. To Kobe and put a good ball in there on him, you know. That was beautiful. <laughs> yeah, man. So it's been uh, so you know, you're gonna see Jonas Fortillion make his make make his uh name felt in in the swag this year. You know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. uh, Alonzo Wolf, the offensive coordinator, is uh is is named Jackson State. <laughs> I want to see Cole go. <laughs> It'll happen. Yeah, that's right. That's right, Alonzo. We got you. I got you, baby. So 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 the spring game is going to be uh April sixth, which is what next. Not this comes next Saturday. Uh, it'll be uh, uh, uh April six. April six. So, April six. Oh, so next Saturday. And it's free, right? What time? Hey, hey, I, I, if I, if it was, uh, you better be glad I ain't the AD. I be it'd be it'd be everybody be paying ten dollars to get in. Nah, man, you got to support, man. I mean, I'm, it's, just, it's, it's, I'm talking crazy. Man. <laughs> I know. Um, I know. Did somebody say y'all had a tornado warning in Jackson? Did yeah, well, that was the first part of the show. Lord. Yes, sir. My Never. brother. Hey, hey, hey. Turn it. Turn it. Turn it. Drinks don't eat from y'all. 
Oh, that's right, TD. Uh, the, yes, sir. The ASVP Women's Showcase is fire. Yes, sir. Shout out to ASVP, man. They always coming over to uh, Austin. I always got something going on, man. I always got some cooking. Yeah, we appreciate that, man. Uh, my son and I'll be done. There's gonna be a lot of people there for the spring game, man. Hopefully, the weather's good, man. What's the 10 day forecast right now? Can we get that right now? It's probably too soon. You know, I always say that the you know, you know, that the hey. weather got the best job security anyway. He just put anything on the thing on the app. Hey, lot of them, if you and your son didn't show up, man, I wouldn't even expect the game to go on, man. You beat up, baby. <laughs> show, <laughs> dude. <laughs> gonna roll down that highway, man. He gonna roll down that highway, man. Love it, bro. It's thundering here in Nashville, so it done made that that weather done made it up north. Okay. Hey man, uh Eric responded in the uh earlier uh in the chat. Hey, Eric, take your time, man. He uh, don't rush. I mean, you still, you know. Oh, yeah, they're not gonna, time, they're not gonna, they're not gonna get gonna... strong. We want we want to see you on the field, you know, in, in, in the fall. I do. I do not expect to see Irv in pads on during spring. I don't know, maybe. Hey, bro, you gonna I don't I don't expect it. I don't expect them to, to play in the spring game. I don't. Um, yeah, I don't. Only folks that have paid for JSU by 40 should be allowed in. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed, man. That, I heard that. I mean, bring that jersey you got from Wade, too, man. I, I, I'm sick I'm of that one. <laughs> Shout out to Jersey. Hey, tickets still on sale, right, Zoe? To win, how, how long we got to get a ticket? I want to say to August first, July thirty first. Yep, same thing. Same thing. So <laughs> I want to say to the people, don't forget about Wednesday. Invite people in. Come in and talk to our beloved, my sorrow, Coach Reed. So yes, come on into the space and hear her talk about the wisdom and. Um, let your girl be come in and watch her play because she is really an inspiration to our younger w women to let them know that they can also be a coach and they can be just as successful. So that's what I'm saying for a lot of our young girls who need someone to look up to. This will be something great for them to come and shake. Yeah, man, bring you. Hey, we need all the best hoopers tuned in, man. Uh, Yeah, bro. You yeah, take that day off, bro. We don't need you. We need you. We need you against <laughs> ULM. Take that day off. Hey, all I need you. I need you for uh ULM, big dog. I need you to go out there and run 150 on them boys, man. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, yeah, I'm excited. Like said, this man, a uh, great, great action pack show. Hey man, everybody, if you're watching right now and you haven't hit the like button. Uh, I know a lot of you guys watch the show from your from your TVs. Um, if you don't mind, go to your cell phone, pull up KC fourteen hundred media, hit the like button on the stream, um, and um, if you'd like to donate to the channel, you can you can use any one of those uh, methods at the bottom of the screen of the at the ticker, and uh, we appreciate the support, man. If not, just become a channel member and uh, rock with us monthly, man. So. Uh, we appreciate that. We we can we can definitely continue to use the support, man. Hey, One look, thing, the bro, bro, reason bro, bro. we need you guys to like the the our stream is that it gets it into the algorithm, and it can then begin to reach people who don't even know who we are. So even for our regulars, just before you even come into the chat, please like it, because the more you like and support us that way, we can actually get into other people who don't even know we exist, and that can help them get to know who we are. Okay, thank you. Well, uh, on that note. At the, end of, at the end of the day, that they got in. <laughs> <laughs> hey, can I just tell you, I'm so proud that you up with oh, us. Oh, really? I'm so, uh, I'm, so proud, I'm so proud you up with us, though. Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> <hey, yo. laughs> <laughs> That's it, damn. That guy he be that guy he be uh messing with folk the whole show. <laughs> <laughs> y'all what Zo didn't tell y'all is he be hitting that that, that little portier before he be getting on. That was <laughs> the Laporte with the came on. <laughs> yeah, I'm a mess. Somebody from the university, please provide an update on the Jazz. You by forty? Can we get that publicly? Thank you. That's all I, I got you. for you. 
That's all I got for you, man. Okay. But no, nah, man, we're gonna get ready to go ahead and close this one out, man. Another great show. Appreciate y'all for tuning in on Monday, uh, Monday night. Uh, like I said, we're we gonna save some of our bullets for uh for Wednesday night, man. Got a lot of lot, lot to talk about with Coach Reed, man. We'll keep her as long as she's uh, uh available for us. And uh, I appreciate her for you know accepting the opportunity to come on. And um, yeah, man, let's make it let's make it a good one. I know it's gonna be a great one, man. We got 550 watching us tonight. Appreciate y'all for always tuning in and watching the streams. Um, but like I said, man, um, I'm about to really start pushing this Patreon too. So go over to uh, Patreon if you if you do have a, a Patreon. Um, I'll be doing some streaming live on uh, Patreon. So now we can get a little bit more ignorant over there. So you know, just feel free to uh, uh, go over there because <laughs> uh, check that out. We'll share we'll share it on the. Uh, I'll start sharing it in the actual um, description of the videos, man. So uh, be on the lookout for some more exclusive content. We'll get a little bit more loose over there. So um, appreciate everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Leonard Anderson. What do you say? Oh, yeah, we've been saying that. That's right. What else? Anybody got anything before we close out? No, I swear to see you guys on Wednesday. Yeah, I love Go Tigers. <laughs> He does it. You close this out, brother. Oh yeah, <clears throat> maybe we can um get get give him a baseball uh, question answer, King. Cause I, I I'm not satisfied with that small ball, man. But hey, of course, my opinion I don't even matter. But <laughs> we're gonna have some baseball on. We're gonna talk some baseball. Ball works. Well, yeah, you, work, you like that, man? I, I take. Anyway, hey, we appreciate you guys tuning in. Everybody on the panel, thanks for coming up, man. It was great content. We continue. We looking to continue to grow and have more content for you. We appreciate your uh, you chiming in the chat. Continue to watch. Tell a friend. You know, I was, I was at the baseball game support. So tell a friend. For people who don't just really follow, know like that. Tell them to subscribe. Pull it up on the YouTube. Hit it for them. Subscribe for them, man. Continue to watch. Let grow this thing because you know we're looking to uh, continue to continue to grow. Continue to do nil. Continue to support. Continue to bring good content. So with that being said. I'm done. Good night, Tiger Nation. We Good out. Night. Great day to be a Tiger. JSU by 40 campaign. Coach Taylor, I was just thinking, I was sitting in my office and we were talking about Jackson State Athletics, the tradition of Jackson State. You played here. What if 50,000 alums gave $40 a month for 12 months? Man, that would be huge. That's money in the bank for hey, athletic well, program. Let's do this, Coach. I'm challenging all 50,000 alumni of Jackson State University, supporters, fans. Let's give $40 a month to JSU by 40 campaign. 12 months, 12 million, September to August. Let's win championships in the classroom. Let's support Jackson State University. Let's support athletics. And let's make sure our coaches and our student athletes are successful. So again, Coach Taylor and I are challenging you, all 50,000 alums, $40 a month for 12 months to support Jackson State Athletics. Go Tiger. Go Tiger. Support the JSU by 40 campaign. Visit GoJSUTigers.com forward slash JSU by 40.